done something in September. But he waited until the big stage was set. And he waited till all eyes were on him and he was on pay-per-view. And that's when he chose to act. He didn't do something when he could have been done and he didn't prevent what happened after like he could have. But, you know, Icarus chose, he picked his spot and he chose and he waited. So yeah, I guess change did come, but at a, it came at a premium. Well, Icarus at the time, and again, not making excuses for him or anyone else, was the grand champion. He was involved in King of Trios, of course, and it was at King of Trios, arguably one of our largest stages. And that's when you chose to make your voice heard for the first time. And, you know, we saw how that turned out for Creator Wrestler and for Equinox 3. But you persevered. You continued on. But instead of going after, you know, what we saw with the Flood members, you chose to take your aggressions out on Eddie Kingston. You know, I'm glad you brought that name up. I'm glad you said Eddie Kingston. The Dr. reason Barber, that I went after Eddie cool. Kingston first, and that's an important point, first. The reason I went after him first is because Eddie Kingston should know better. Eddie Kingston served Create a Wrestler right up to Deucalion. He hoisted him up, he gave him to Deucalion, and Deucalion spiked him. And it, 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 I was held back. They were holding me and making me watch my training partners go down in flames. And you say they. These they that you speak of are people like Volgar. No, no, no. Don't ever, ever, ever say that name again. Lucas, my apologies. Well, Lucas and the troll, the troll who served up his brothers to Deucalion just a month prior. Volgar, Lucas, who stood by and held you while your brothers and your friends were taken out by Deucalion. Why did they get a pass, but Eddie Kingston is your first target? That's a good question. As I said before, Eddie Kingston knows better. And if you look at, if you, if you take a close, a hard look at everybody that got eliminated last year, most of them were young. And look at the people, look at the people that were, that were in that battle with the, with the flood. Look at Missile Assault Ant, for example. Another person that you've turned your attention to recently. Missile Assault Ant came in... <laughs> They, he was named after an action figure, okay? He was very clearly labeled a toy soldier. He was, he was a soldier in another man's war, in another man's fight, and honestly, I'm sick of seeing people get taken advantage of. I, I, when I came up as a student, when I was training at the Wrestle Factory, all of these guys, none of, they didn't have a leader, okay? We, together, we, 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 we grasped at something. We wanted Hollow Wicked to lead the way. We wanted Icarus to lead the way. We wanted somebody to take us and show us the right path, but no one did. And instead, we had people pulled apart, guys were, were, were it, it, it was, everyone that was young was being taken advantage of. And I am so sick of seeing the new wrestlers be, you know, molded in the, the image of Jimmy Jacobs or in the image of Wink Vavasaur or whoever else is, is, is pulling the strings. No one should be pulling our strings. There are no strings. Well, you've given some people the opportunity to be themselves, and again, I... Troll's not a very talkative person to begin with, to know what's inside him, but you've kind of opened up something in Lucas that we've never seen before, kind of almost a 180 of who this person really is, and obviously we're getting a chance to see who you really are, and, and you mentioned about wrestling being an art form. Uh, I guess maybe with what you've been doing over these last six months, what is your end goal? You know, most people get involved in professional wrestling, of course you say it's an art, it's a way to express yourself, but when you choose a place to wrestle like Chikara, you... Most people will set their sights on the Grand Championship, the tag titles, winning King of Trios. You're not even in the Challenge of the Immortals. So what is Kevin Condren's goal with your machinations over these last six months? I don't know. It's... My goal is chaos. I, I want to change things. And I think first, you need a bit of chaos. You need to upset the established world.